Hey there everyone, I'm gonna show you how I made one of the best clubs in Manchester into a video game with Unreal Engine 5. Damn, that was good voice acting. Oh, a few months ago, the Manchester Evening News shared a video of a girl who had made 42s in Minecraft. Now, I totally respect, I don't know who this girl is. I totally respect this girl. It's good. It's very creative. But it annoyed me. It annoyed me because I looked at it and I was like, I can do so much better than that. No, it's totally my fault. I was totally jealous of whoever this random girl is. But I was like, I can do better than that. So there and then, I decided I will make 42s into an actual working breed. Uh, video game and this is how I did it. For the people who don't know, my day job is a game developer. Well, kind of a game developer. I work on video games. But, and I've always had an interest in 3D animation, 3D modeling, you know, video games, game design, all that nerdy stuff. You know, I love that stuff. That's what I'm, I'm good at that stuff. And I thought to myself, let's try and make 42s into a fully breathing working video game but already i can think of some problems that i'm going to run into because i don't know i can't remember fully what what every detail of 42s looks like i rem i know the layout i've been there lords for people who don't know 42s is a club in manchester and it's probably the only good club that actually plays decent music it has it's a bit indie it's a bit classic cheese like just cheesy music and you can't go wrong with 42s. A 42s night is always a good night. You cannot go wrong with 42s. It's, it's, it's city famous. Let's just put it that way. 42s is an icon of Manchester. In Manchester, there's the Hilton, there's Printworks, there's, I don't know, somewhere else. And then there's 42s icon of Manchester. As it's COVID-19 currently and no one can leave the house because the world's coming to an end, I thought let's try and make a video game for everyone to enjoy. And this is how I did it. This Making this game was definitely no easy feat. It took me around two weeks to make and it's still nowhere near complete. A few months ago, some a girl 42s in Minecraft. What's better than making 42s in a game? It is making 42s into a game. Bum, bum, bum. You're the voice trying to understand it. Make a noise and make it clear. Wow. Keep moving forward. Keep going. Keep your eyes on this screen. The first step in the pipeline of making this video game, let's model the landscape. To the best of my ability, let's recreate 42s and what it looks like on the inside. Now this it was the hardest part of it all because I can I can remember what the layout is, but I don't know the specifics of 42s. I don't know what the material is on the wall. I don't know the dimensions. And all this, as you'll soon realize, is makes your job very difficult and it makes it very difficult. So the first step is to build the basic outline. Just what, to my best of my memory, what is the layout of 42s and how can I put it together? So I started off modeling the entrance. I started off modeling the stairs. And now I'm not doing details. I'm just blocking out, you know, what I remember it looking like. Like where you go and get your money from, where you go, you go upstairs into that tunnel with the lights on it. There's like a place where you store clothes, I think, yeah. And then there's two, but the thing is, th this is the stuff that you forget. There's like two doors on that wall. Now, I don't even know where them doors go, but I need to put them in. how I distract myself. Because I don't know the specific dimensions, I would build the dance floor or the hallway to the, my best capability to like what I remember it looked like. But work on something else, then come back after like an hour and be like, hang on, that roof seems a bit too high. And then like you would see that like it's a 20 foot roof and there's no 20 foot roofs in 42s. Like it just doesn't feel right. So there was a lot of back and forward when I was creating just the basic layout and the shape because you want the dimensions to be as correct as they can. I just started 3D modeling the landscape to my best of capability and just seeing what worked. 
seen it seen what looked nice okay well that took the piss to do that to model out the basic shape it took it like a few days because like i say you can't remember what it looks like and the thing is there's no blueprints or anything of 42s online I don't, I don't know what it looks like you know but we got it finished we got the dance floor we got that top bar we've got we've got like that seating area all blocked out where the the arctic monkeys like logo thing is on the wall and then so i blocked everything out and everything was looking good now i haven't even i haven't even got to the hard bit yet this is just like the easy bit and it still took a while at this point i decided to start modeling the d details the things that you see like the posters small stuff like door handles trimmings around bedrooms i'm gonna come back to trimmings in a second because trimmings that was a that was an issue you know them little like banisters you know them banisters that like make cues and stuff stuff like that i started adding all these details in and now that took a good few days and I was doing a lot of all-nighters. I was staying up quite late to do this. I wanted to make this as detailed as I could. I didn't want this to be like rubbish. I wanted this to look like 42s. Do you get what I mean? Like you would put a VR headset on and you're in 42s. That's what I wanted. But, so I had a brainwave. I thought, let's go to 42's Facebook page because I remember 42's takes pictures of people like this. There's a picture of me somewhere uh holding one of them signs i went i went through loads of these pictures man loads of these pictures to uh to gather reference to get details of like where the bins were where the doors were and all this lot i wanted as much detail as i could because the detail is gonna sell it it's gonna sell what like the game i'm not trying to sell this game i'm just saying that it's free it's free if i reach a thousand subscribers i'll release it when i'm hit thousands but the details are the things that make the game it'll make it work oh, it's been that long i can't even remember like what I did because this this project went on way too long way too long way too long. for all the geeks for the CG nerds who were listening I did majority of the majority of the base models in Autodesk Maya and then I sent all that stuff to Unreal where I would put it in the game model it light it fix it up do the materials making it look good. Let me just give you a quick rundown of how much detail goes into every single product, every single object that I have to make. Look at this table. This is just a granite table that's gonna have the, the 42's logo, the cans and that lot on it. Now, people just think this is, you know, this is just a, and people underestimate how hard it is to make just 3D objects and that. Because this, first off, you have to model this shape from something. So I've just taken a cube, scaled it, moved it into position, blocked out the basic shape. Now I've got a, like the shape of the table, but I don't have any textures or materials on it. It just looks like nothing. It's just literal data of ones and zeros connecting dots to create geometry. Is that, does that make sense? Are you following along? So we're taking, you better take notes. There's gonna be a quiz at the end of this. You get all these vertexes that have an X, Y, and Z coordinate. You got what I mean? Like a dot there, dot there, dot there, and all in, all in different coordinates. Then you connect them all together and that creates a 3D object. That is really dumbed down on what 3D modeling is, but that's where it is. So we have the basic shape of this table. Now we want to apply materials and make it look good. And that's a lot harder than what you think. We send this into Unreal Engine. Say if we wanted this to look like granite, which it kind of does now, but it's a bit off, but we want it to look like granite. You download a 2D texture like this, like a flat image of granite and you bring it into the software and then boom you have a, a table with some colors on it but it doesn't look right there's no reflection there's no there's no like it looks too smooth there's no lighting on it the shadows are off it looks very flat so what we do is we download some other textures that have data inside of them and what i mean by other textures i mean like a normal map now this is a normal map and you probably can't see anything on this except a purple screen. And, but don't worry, I'll show you a normal map. Normal maps tend to look like this. They tend to be these little shapes, little divots in like a purplish screen, like a purplish texture. But, and then you also download something called a bump texture or a roughness texture, and um, which is this, which just doesn't look like much. But let me explain to you what we're looking at here. Say if you have a piece of geometry, like we spoke about before, like a 3D object, 
and you want to put subtle differences, you want to put like, because no surface is perfectly smooth, even glass isn't perfectly smooth, but for something that's like granite, there's a bit of indents inside and you want the light to reflect off them little indents so it doesn't look like smooth, it looks like there's a bit of roughness to it. And how you do that is using these, which are bump maps or normal maps. A picture like this, this texture, it says to the software, okay, black, the color black is zero and the color white is one and one and zero. And then there's like a chart in between, do you understand? So it goes one to zero and sometimes to minus one, but we're not gonna talk about that. We'll just go from one to zero here. And then all the numbers in between one and zero, like 0 0.1006, you know, in between wherever. What these textures say, this black and white texture, the software reads every single pixel and says, okay, this pixel is 0 0.1. This black part is zero. This is one. Now. You take this texture that has this one to zero data, this zero to one data, and the software says, okay, where one is, I'm gonna raise, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna raise the geometry, and zero, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna keep it flat. So that's where you get like little bumps on your surfaces, modeling a rock, like a brick. There would be a lot of bumps. There would be a, there'd be a very large variation between the one and zero but something like granite there's very subtle because it's quite smooth granite and there's a lot of reflection there's a lot of specularity so you don't have that much difference you can tell that difference between for example this is this would be a cobblestone material and there's a lot of variation between the black and white but for a bump map for granite which is not that much variation in height that it's quite smooth it's it's not that much different it just looks gray on this but anyway we take all this data and we put it into the software and make it look very nice Boom, look at that. Look how glossy that looks. That looks more like uh, granite now, doesn't it? Look at that, look at that. You can see the reflections of the of these cups. You can see like when you move the camera, the lighting passes over it. Boom, look at that, looks beautiful. But now that's just one object. That's just a granite table that we've had to apply all these textures to, find these textures. Now there's like 700 objects in this scene. So every single object has to be textured, rendered and lit properly and it's a lot of work, but it'll be totally worthwhile in the end. It's five in the morning, I'm listening to Duncan Trussell. I've just blacked out my windows. Still going, don't feel that bad. By this point, we're a few weeks into the project and oh, there's been a, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. <sighs> Just a quick message. If anyone's here, if this has been shared by 42s or the MEN or anything, and you've come from there, drop a subscribe. Help me rise to the ranks of YouTube. Drop a subscribe and check out my other videos. There's more videos like this coming and there's like better videos on the way. I say that every time. And there is, there's always better videos. Subscribe. Don't, don't do the bell button. I don't need that. Just subscribe. You know, place to subscribe, share a bit of love, you know, in these trying times. By this point, I was getting super sick of making this thing so i just thought you know what let's get it done let's get all these lights done let's get all the modeling finished let's get every single material every single piece of leather wood glass everything every bit of plastic and most importantly let's get a can of fosters and a can of red stripe and that's the only thing that we sell because after a certain point i couldn't be asked modeling anything else so i thought let's create some vending machines let's put some cans of red stripe and cans of fosters in them and that's it because no student can afford anything else so we only drink Red Stripe and Fosters at 42s. 42s and Red Stripe go together better than salt and pepper. It's the best thing since fucking sliced bread. I was doing some very, very late nights to get this bloody video finished. But we got there. We got there in the end and it looks great. But creating a whole game on your own is quite the feat. It's quite a lot of work. I'm really struggling to find this poster here. What is that? I recognise it as well. Just that corner one. I have no idea what it is, but I need to find out. Once we were finished with that, we we're on to the last bit. Now, this is the bit I'm still working on. What are we gonna do? What is the player going to do? Now, I was thinking of different missions, right? There's gonna be, there's gonna be, cause there's only you. So the story is that you've turned up to 42s early and like you're the first one there. That's the story. And you have to do these like certain things. You have to go buy some cans of red stripe. You have to go and find the secret bag of beef that's been left for you. 
All this stuff is going to come in time. Give it time, it'll all be good. It'll be finished. But that's it. That's it. But after two weeks, I got it done. It's all finished. We've got a fully working 42's video game, which I'll release if I get to a thousand subscribers. A thousand subscribers, I'll release it. I'll release it to the world. But anyway, take a look at some in-game footage of 42's. Greg Foster, I made 42's into a video game. Like, comment, and subscribe for more. There's better videos coming. Nearly at 200 subscribers, and I'm going to have a 200 subscriber special which I've really thought of I'm gonna I'm gonna mention a few commenters who have been with me from the beginning you know who you are you know who you are boys uh, anyway here's the outro footage of me just walking around the game some nice rendered shots for you happy days just what is it that you want to do well, we want to be free we want to be free to to do what we want to do and we want to get loaded and we want to have a good time and that's what we're gonna do well, wait, baby, let's go. We're gonna have a good time. We're gonna have a party.